This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here to talk about true love. Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite subjects. <clears throat> in spite of the fact that it's also my last name. Anyway, here we go. And after I read the word, you know what we follow with, don't you? Pat's two cents. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and we are going to start at verse 4. Because I want to describe what love really looks like. All right, here we go. Charity, which means love. Every time I say charity, it means love. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. When I was a child, I thought I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Now I'm going to go back over number over a few verses because I want to explain some things. <clears throat> charity suffers long. That's another way of saying is patient and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity is not jealous. It doesn't resent when somebody else can do something better than you can or they may be a little more intelligent than you, is not easily provoked. So that means that if a person really loves you, they're not flying off the handle at every little thing you do. They're not starting an argument, throwing things, having hissy fits, slapping you down on the ground, kicking you, punching you. They're not doing that because that's not love. All right. I'm just making it plain. All right. It does not behave itself unseemly. It's not inappropriate. It's not disrespectful. Do you hear me? Will not front you off in public and belittle you. Seeketh not her own, which means not controlling. Love does not try to control how you feel, what you think. What you do, where you go, who you hang with, who you don't hang with, who you talk to, how you talk to them. That control stuff has nothing to do with love, baby. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to make this plain for those of you who hear so many people tell you, I love. I love you. Oh, I couldn't live without you. You are the love of my life. We are soul mates. And before you know it, your soul mate is knocking you down a flight of stairs. I don't think so. <clears throat> Here we go. Is not easily provoked. Have anger issues? That's not love. Love means you will temper that anger. You will go and get counseling before you will allow your anger to sour the life of the one you love. 
is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, which means you're not suspicious. You love someone? You truly love them? Oh, you're not suspicious. And the person who's supposed to really love you is not asking you, well, what did they want? Were you flirting with them? Oh, I know what's happening. You're giving them their phone number. I know. I know. I, I know you got something on the side. I know you're flirting around. I know you're playing around. Yeah, well, let me see your phone number. Let me see who you've been calling. That's called suspicion. That's lack of trust. That's not love. Hmm. <laughs> it gets a little deep, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay. Thinketh no evil. And that's what we got through dealing with being suspicious. Jealous. Who are you talking with? Why are you looking at him like that? Okay. Now, rejoices not in iniquity. In other words, something goes down and, 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 and you end up having to pay the price for it or something goes wrong with you. And they're telling us, serves you right. That's what you get. I told you. You don't want to be controlled by me? Well, guess what? I hope you're behind fries. No, that's not love. Okay. And the other thing about thinketh no evil. Every time you go somewhere, where'd you go? Well, how come it took you so long to get home? Well, no, 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 no. No, that don't fly. I'm sorry. No, you got to tell me what you've been doing because I know you up to something. See, that's thinking evil. That's being suspicious. That's, ah, uh, anyway. But what it really is, it's a manipulation to keep you on pins and needles so that you are so busy worrying about pleasing, so busy proving how faithful you are that you're not noticing how unfaithful they are. Yeah, it's called manipulation, baby. Rejoices not in iniquity, we dealt with that, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things. They're trusting. You love, you trust. Hopeth all things. Oh, you have the highest hopes. Endures all things. You can deal with things. You can deal with the fact that your loved one is throwing up every other minute and you might not be able to handle it with anybody else. But because you love that person, <coughs> you can you clean up behind them, you'll do whatever it takes, you'll clean their behind, you'll I mean, whatever. Because that's how much you love. That's what love does. Love takes you beyond your limits. All right. Charity never fails. Now, I say this because when there is true love, you don't have to worry about people failing each other. There's always a little moment of disappointment here and there, but they're not going to fail the relationship. They're not going to sabotage your trust. They're not going to lie. Play games with your heart and your mind. Because that's not love. That's playing games. Not love. That's toying with your emotions, trifling with your heart. I, I want you to hear what true love is so that you will see what true love isn't. You know, when the um, the government or FBI agents, whatever you want to call them, when they're learning how to recognize counterfeit money, they don't study counterfeit. They study the real deal. They study it in detail, intricate detail, because the more they get to know what the real looks like, the quicker they recognize when it's fake. You have got to get in this word and read Everything about God's love, agape love, the kind of love God only can give. And he enables us to give through the power of his Holy Spirit. Because when you love God's way, your love is far from your own. It reaches way beyond your ability. Your love has conditions. You treat me right, I treat you right. You cool with me, I'm cool with you. But when you truly love, you can love somebody that's unlovely. You can love them when they're acting ugly. You can understand and be patient with them when they're being mean because they're hurting or they're sick. 
That's true love. We're going to get back to this a little later. My nurse is coming in a minute. <clears throat> and uh, I don't want the doorbell ringing while we're talking. So I will get back to this. <clears throat> I'm sorry. There'll be a segue to this. But I want you to understand what true love looks like, smells like, tastes like, feels like, acts like. All right? God bless you. Over and out. Stay tuned. I'll be back.